Nice to meet you. You too. That's my dog over there playing with yours. Oh, good. They're about the same size, too. Yeah. What kind of dog is yours? He's a mutt. Mixed breed. I want to get married. Oh, yeah? Right now? No. I'm just stating a general fact. I want, I want a little, I want a wedding. Really I soon? I want to get married. Our wedding was cool. Was it? Danielle wants to today. get married. I'm already married. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I'm so happy that we don't have to date in New York because I hear it's just hell. It is. I mean, I didn't date. I swear to God, I like three years went by without meeting anybody interesting. I yeah. barely went out on a date. And then Chris was a blind date, and I've been. You had a blind that. date that worked out? Wow. That's pretty impressive. You're the only one. Roll, Terry. Roll, Terry. Roll, Terry. Yeah! <laughs> Good girl! What have you taught her? I just make sure she practices that move. Oh, okay. I thought maybe you would teach her a trick, too. Chris is so perfect for me. Like, he's everything that I'm not, and I never thought that I wanted. We have to buy her a toy. All right, let's go. <gasps> Flashy pants. Yeah, this way. <laughs> Everyone was crazy about the dogs and, and very excited about everything that they're doing. and. On, on a different mindset, because I was always dead set against having a dog. Chris, you want a fish? No, nope. I had a fish once and it jumped out of the tank and committed suicide. <laughs> Did it really? Yeah. Oh. I was petrified of animals after that. Oh, you were traumatized? Yeah, and I never had another pet after that. No, never had another pet? Until Cherry. At first, I was like, oh, no way, this guy is not my type. But now, like, moving in together has been so wonderful. <laughs> No squeakies. Oh, oh, but look, it's a little Harley boot. How much is Oh, it's only $5. It's only $5. A little Harley Davidson boot. You want that? That could not be more annoying. <laughs> yeah, right. No. She doesn't even want it. But that's because you're just playing with it in here. I bet you when we get it home, she'll play with it. Come on. It's cute. Right. It actually kind of worked out pretty good because she absolutely grew on me. I mean, she's just the cutest dog. What do you got? See, toy. she loves it. I told you. So she's running around all over the place, and there's, you know, me just tripping on all her toys, going to the bathroom every night. Spoiled brat. Yeah, she's a spoiled brat. He loves yeah. her. He loves Cherry. Oh, God. This toy is going on lockdown. This is too squeaky and nasty. I'm Lori Colwell. I'm Stephen Cox. And our dog is Max. Max, so excited! Oh my god! So excited to go in. It's really great to have two people looking after the dog, actually. actually. And because when you talk to other people, they have a lot less free time than we have since we split the responsibility. Maxie, you going to be nice? Good boy. I'm really proud of our dog. I really love him. I think he's great. I feel like he is who he is, and I don't compare him with other dogs. Max only likes boy dogs. And we accept We that. accept that. We're fine with that. 
All right, kids, are we ready? Yes. Let's build a doghouse. There's this contest that we did. Now, it was so last minute. Our poor designer friend, we call him up and we're like, can you help us out? So what I thought maybe what a dog really needs in Manhattan is not a house, but an entertainment center. Now, bear in mind, he's a lighting designer. Right. Uh -huh. The assignment, according to this, is urban dog house. So why don't you combine the two? This calls for the design fez. I put on my fez, and that was my contribution to the whole thing. Why don't we call it Max House? Max House, like maximum house? Yeah. How about Bow Wow House? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's what good. Kind of this is beautiful. I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't win. Max, what do you think? Yeah, give us some commentary there, Max. Your people and your design. You have no idea what the dog wants. <laughs> you make me sick. We spent three hours on this, and it looks like it. It was like the most bizarre place I've ever been. It was so unsafe. I turned around and this, the dog was pulling me and I rammed my face right into the dog house. And there's like a loose Wheaton Terrier that starts harassing Max. Thankfully, we weren't like the lamest one there. there were Ours a couple was not others. the worst. Okay, this one is made out of poop, and they got an award. Yep. We got nothing. We got bupkis. We got robbed. Because we didn't build out of poop, we didn't get an award. Bow Wow House. That's really weird. See, this is Bow Wow House, too. That is so That's weird. That's the third time for Bow Wow House. All right, so here I was thinking I had an original idea. Three original. Bow Wow House. Three I Bow Wow House. so unoriginal. It's like, why did, why did I even put the fest? Yeah, I never really thought in my wildest dreams that uh, something of mine, that if, if I ever had something hanging in a gallery, I didn't think it, it would be it this. Be I didn't think it'd be that. The Bow Wow the Bow House. Wow house. <laughs> you guys were robbed. We were robbed. Oh, we were totally robbed. Those people don't know art, man. I'm going to tear this place up. Whoa. <laughs> ah, stay, stay, stay. She's pulling and I'm holding things and I'm sweating. Oh my God, what? Is this going to keep happening? You're watching Dog Days. <laughs> My butt smells good. Are you dog sitting? I have two, yeah. Great. I'm scared, Great. I'm scared. My, My boyfriend is petrified of pitbulls. Is it a nice pitbull? Oh, she's so sweet, but, but I'm afraid of her and he's afraid of her. And even though she's so sweet, I'm just, I'm just scared of dogs generally, so. <laughs> that dog is going to run your place. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. to my friend Judy's house because she's going away to Las Vegas and I'm watching her pit bull for the next couple days. Judy lives in this little tough neighborhood over there on the Lower East Side, Avenue Z and 3rd. It's a little bit tougher, but I think we can handle it. I think we'll be okay. So I was thinking, Missy, you know what? I don't think your little pink collar is gonna work over there on the Lower East Side, huh? For you. Look how tough you're gonna be. You are like rough and rugged. No one's gonna mess with you. They're gonna take one look at you and be like, ooh, that's a tough dog. Even Sam might be scared. You look so cute. Look at you with your little tough self. You'd even make it on Christopher Street, honey. Do you like it? I don't know if you like it. I think you look good. Judy, my best friend, has watched Cherry like 500,000 times for me, whether I get a job or if I'm going away or for Christmas if I go home to my parents' house. So when Judy asked me to watch Sam 
there was no refusing. There was no thinking twice about it. I had no options. I had to, had to, had to. I walk in, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pick Sam up. Everything's gonna be fine. I brought Cherry with me. Sam! Are you ready? Are you gonna be a good girl in my house? Are you gonna be a good girl in my house? Are you? No, Jerry. Sure. So Sam lies on her back, wagging her tail, and pees. <gasps> oh, Sam! Sam, bad girl! It's not like a cherry pee, which is like this. It's like a massive dog human pee all over her couch. What do I do? I don't have any, where is this stuff? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Sam, if that was my couch, you'd be dead. What a bad girl. Oh, it's all over the floor. Why are you looking like that? You didn't do anything. I don't know how to clean it. <laughs> if you do that in my house, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna make you into a soup. I swear, I'm not even joking. If Sam starts peeing in my apartment, that smell, no matter what you do, it doesn't leave, so Cherry will start to pee. And she's been so good in my new apartment. You are so gonna be contained in, like, a little area. Chris has no idea that Sam is coming over. I, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You beasts, let's go! <sighs> I hate the both of you. No! She's pulling, and I'm trying to lock the door, and I'm holding things, and I'm sweating. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. What? Is this going to keep happening? Is this going to keep happening? Wait. It was a total mess. Sam, we're not getting along, huh? Let's, let's, let's go. Sam, come here. Come on, good girl. Come on, good girl. Are these stairs? OK, we'll go out these stairs. My nerves are already fried over this whole thing. I feel like I'm being good with the dog, but I'm still afraid. Like, and I know she can smell, like, sense my fear. Come on, Sam. No. Sit. No. 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 Sam, no. No. Sam. Come here, Sam. I have no control over her. Sam. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I'm saying no in a low, aggressive tone, but clearly she's just looking at me like, is that all you got? I'm stressed! This is my home. And if you can um, actually not pull in the driveway, because I'm going to sneak her in the back way. I can't go through the front because there are all these strict rules in my building about the size of your dog, and I think Sam exceeds the amount of pounds I'm allowed to have in an animal in my apartment. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Cherry, in. You better stay with your friend. In, 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 in. All right. I feel a little controlled now. Sit. Both of you, sit. Good girls, stay. Hello? Hi, Christopher. I'm about to walk the dogs. With the S? <laughs> yeah, until Saturday. What do you mean you're not coming home? Yes, you are, Chris. You have to come home. Where are you going to stay? No, you're not staying out. You're staying here. It's not going to eat you. I have her crated off in the kitchen. You have to come home. Yes, Chris. Yes, what do you, you can't leave me here with the dogs. You, just try for me. Okay, I love you. <laughs> Bye. He's gonna leave me. We're gonna do some Frisbee Dog 101. Joey's going crazy, she wanted it. Good girl. You're watching Dog Days. I'm like nervous about this job. I know. 
Because I'm scared. I'm still afraid of Sam, you know? Yeah. So it's like too oh, much for me to deal with right now. Ah! Ah! Sam, hey. no! Sam, stop it! How was that? Was that, that good? Was good. That was good. Sam, you must chill. You must chill, Sam. So we're doing frisbee today. Is that the frisbee? Plan? Yes. Right. I'm psyched. I'm actually really well. Max is part border coat, so I'm gonna guess that he can actually do, do it. it. They have four different levels of like AstroTurf fields. Oh my god. And when Max first started coming here, he was on like the third floor for the medium sized dogs, yeah. and now he's graduated to the first floor to the big dogs. Wow. Now, why does he come to get washed or to? Uh, no, to, for daycare. We take him here twice a week so he can like blow off steam and we can get some rest at night. Maxie. Oh boy. So cool. <laughs> you guys can all unleash We really want oh, I said, look, it's almost grass. We were all just like, let's play. Let's do stuff. We want to run around. <laughs> Our dog has never like had the freedom to do anything. Yeah. Oh, and there he goes, marking territory. <sighs> Why don't you let him play? It's okay. It was the first time where the dogs could run around together on grass outside of the dog run. Yes, Jerry! I think it's kind of nice because they can get total traction here. You know, it's not like the dog park with all the little pebbles everywhere. They, yeah. can, they can really. Uh, and that, and every, we know everyone's dog that's in here, so you feel more, I feel more comfortable. So that was cool. Before the instructor came, they were all just having the time of their life. All right, guys. Whoa, 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 Sam, easy. And then he came. Hello, everyone. Frisbee guy. How are you? How are you? My name is Jason. I'm a dog trainer. And we're going to uh, do some Frisbee Dog 101. Eddie. What's up, brother? Always late, Eddie. Why? Are you I trying think, to be fashionable? All right. Say hello, Eddie. Say hello to everybody. Eddie, you're late. <laughs> you're so busted. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. What we're going to do today is getting your dog started in playing with Frisbees. Notice I didn't use the word catching Frisbees. Some dogs, let's face it, physically aren't going to catch Frisbees, and some dogs just generally don't want to catch Frisbees. We can see who amongst our group can become a Frisbee champion and who is just going to play Frisbee recreationally. What we're going to do is we're going to take one dog at a time, and I'm going to show you how I want you guys to train your dogs on your own. Why don't we take it's him Max. over here? What's his name? Max. Max. Hey, Max. I think he's ready to go. Hi, Max. Hi, good boy. Here's a great way of raising a dog's energy when it comes to Frisbee. is you lift it up, you give it to him. Good boy, Max. Now, here's our second command. Max, clap. Max, come. Joey saw Max and the Frisbee and the trainer and the Frisbee being thrown up, and she was going crazy. She wanted it. Max, come. Drop. Drop. Good Whoa. boy. Good boy. What the now, hell? I've been working on that forever. <laughs> How the hell do you do that? Well, we're going to sort of play in a very gentle, loving way with our Frisbees. The problem is, is that you have people with dogs in a place where all they want to do is run around. Plus, I had Sam and Cherry, and they were actually really, really cute because Cherry wanted nothing to do with Frisbee until Sam would grab it. It's funny because after dogs hang out for a few days, they pick up like each other's character a little bit. And so I wonder what Cherry picked up from that pit. Yeah, she went a little cuckoo. <laughs> I don't think we picked up much of that class. All right, good girl. Come on, guys. Go your dog. Good girl. Having two dogs is so hard. One minute I think I got it down, and then something will happen, and I'll be like, oh, wait a second. Maybe I'm not as good as I thought. I'm sorry. Guys, where are we going to tie you up? I thought I would do something nice for Chris because he's being such a good boyfriend and so patient with me. Don't let anybody take you. Don't let anybody touch you. 
and don't talk to strangers. And I have this pit bull that's coming into the house, which he's petrified of. So I'm like, well, let me do something nice for him. I'm like, I'm going to make him dinner. I'm making penne alla vodka, which is his favorite thing, and cherry pie to be cute. Graham cracker, nine inch. Yeah. Did you guys miss me? Was it scary out here alone? Come on into your little hiding place. Let's go. Let's enter the Danielle world of cooking. So, we have a pre-made sauce, which I made for my grandmother's own home recipe. It smells nice and garlicky. Very, very Italian sauce here, right off the boat. Watch out, beast. I'm going to step on you guys. You have to put oil and salt in the water. Absolute necessity. So what are we going to do? Bam! We're going to put some oil in there. Don't you wish this food was for you? But it's not. It's not for you. Don't even think about it. I hope the dinner will help win Sam over in Chris's eyes. I hope that he'll lighten up about the whole dog situation. A quarter of a cup. We have to reduce by half. Do you know what that means, girls? I sure don't. What is going on down there? You little freaks? They love each other. They're kissing. Is this a small container of Cool Whip? That's the instructions, a small container. You guys don't know. You guys don't even speak English. Why do I ask you questions? I'm going crazy. Sam, if your mother only knew the spoiling that I'm doing right now. This is the first time I've cooked for Chris in this apartment, so he's going to be so shocked that I attempted Chris is going to be here any second, so I'm going to take the dogs to the terrace. Put them out there so he doesn't see them right away. Come on, Sam. What's going on? What's going on? Come on. Come on. Come on, Sam. Ha-ha. Trick job. Chris? Hi. What's up? I need you dinner. Why? Not bad. It's vodka sauce. Not, it's from, not, bad the, not from the jar. I cooked. Huh. Sit down. I'm gonna serve you. You can start on the salad. Alright. Where's the dog? Locked up? Uh the dog is probably in the bedroom. I don't know where she is. She's fine. So there's Parmesan, there's your salad, there's blue cheese. Wow. I know. It's good, right? <laughs> Wait, you need a spoon for the parmesan? Is this like some kind of hint? Like this is gonna happen a lot? Um Maybe. This is Sam. Oh, God. Sam! Sam, come here! Sam, down! Down, Sam. See, look, she listens. It's gonna eat me. No, it's not. I swear to God. It's not gonna eat you, and she's gonna hang out in the kitchen, and she's gonna be fabulous. Did she eat Cherry up? No, Cherry beats up on her. Sam! Look, she's not even bothering you. Let's bring her over to you. You're not peeing, are you? <gasps> Sam! Oh my god! Bad girl! Get in the ca Nice. Sam, no! You better get back in the kitchen! Oh, Chris! <laughs> I'm sorry! It was like literally right next to the couch. I thought he was gonna die. Maybe she won't eat me, she'll just drown me. No, no, no. We gotta get the smell out, and then we gotta pour bleach on it. That's what Eddie said. Cherry thinks that she did something bad. She's like, oh man. Why are you smiling at me? You realize if you get kicked out, it's not my fault anymore. I take no responsibility. I almost feel guilty calling. You didn't brother. do anything. You don't have to be scared. Don't you don't do anything. But you know, if you do it, you are dead. Oh my god. Chris. Thank God she didn't pee on the couch because she was on the couch two seconds before she peed on the floor. Yep. Good night, Sam. Bad girl. Come on, check. Hey guys, we're going on a datey. How are you, Mark? Well, yes. The conversation didn't flow very well. It seems kind of space cadetty. You're watching Dog Days. Jill! How are you? 
Good. <laughs> Chill. Hey, Lori. I'm Jill Abrahams, and this is Oliver Zim. Hey, guys. Come help me get ready. We're going on a dating. Okay, brush my hair, even though I actually never brush my hair. I'm somewhat nervous, but excited. I mean, I've been on enough first dates that I can handle pretty much anything. <laughs> oh my God, Jill is so interesting and pretty, and if you're gonna set Jill up, you should set her up with someone who is her equal in, in every way. <laughs> How you doing? He wasn't very friendly. <laughs> like he walked by me, but he didn't really introduce himself. Okay. okay. Yep. Come on, Ollie Pie. Good boy. How are you, Mark? Yeah, well, yes. Uh, Hi, I'm Jill. Hey, Jill. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Who's this? This is Dex. Like, Dex? Um, yeah, like, um... Hi, Dex. Like, uh, Nasdaq. I say get down, get down. I guess he's interesting and interested in certain things, just not things that I particularly find all that interesting. I made 120 pounds of cheese last weekend. Really? I really enjoyed the conversation about cheese. It's very interesting because you take milk, right? And then you, you let it sit out overnight. And it uh -huh. spoils, bacteria gets in it. Uh -huh. And in the morning you add another thing of milk. And it curdles like kind of um, uh, yogurt. I mean, I should really withhold judgment. I barely know him. But aesthetically, he's kind of like Mr. Rogers. So, he seems kind of space cadet -y. I think that Jill maybe needs to spend a little bit more time communicating with her dog. Oliver was chewing up the boat and she was feeding him food straight off the plates. And I do that also with my dog, but I don't do it without giving him some instruction first. Dexy! Dexy! The conversation didn't flow very well. He's just kind of very square. I'm, I'm probably going to stick around and go to the gallery today. I didn't really concentrate too much on Jill. I don't think our interests are coinciding necessarily. The first mate on the cruise was a hottie. Oh, first man, yes. Yeah, good looking guy. That guy's name. Chaz or something like that. <laughs> so how, how long have you lived in New York? I lived here about 13 years actually. He had highlights in his hair, great body, and was charming and delightful. And I had a lot better time talking with the first mate than I did with my prospective date. So Well, thanks. It was a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you too. You had fun. I did. Good. Sure, I'll see you around. Maybe at the dog run or something. Yeah, that'd be good. Cool. It's safe to assume that I will not be going out on another date with March. And if I see him at the dog run, I will run in the other direction. <laughs> Eddie, I would describe as a goofball. A very good looking model goofball. Who at first I thought was a big jerk and now I think is adorable. Here's your cereal. Y'all eat it. I had to work the entire day. There's no way I could have made it to the dog run and then go to work. So Danielle and I arranged Joey and her dogs hanging out. Good job. How do you feel? I feel like a new woman, huh? So check it out. I gotta go make my coins. Okay, baby? But listen, you're gonna go to the dog run and chill out, Danielle. Yeah, that's Joey. Hi, Joey. Hello. Who are you? I'm Gabe. Hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. So, uh, listen, you gotta take really good care of my dog. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, I kill you. I understand. I find you. All right, be good. No 
biting off anybody's head. Don't let her jump out the window, OK? Right, right. I'm going to buckle her in right now. I'll find you. I know. Bye, Joey. Bye, Joey. Be good. Be good. Bye. Bye. Do you see? She's, like, watching me. Yeah, I'm rolling with uh, Joey. Uh, we're going to Madison Square Park. Yep. Cherry, you're not allowed to be scared anymore. You ran around like a mad woman yesterday. Come on, Sam, let's go. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. This is Sam. Are you scared of this dog? Um, I'm getting better. I'm not, I'm not afraid of her. Joey's coming, too. Oh, Joey is coming? Yeah. Well, what's that, what happened with his shoe? Well, with Eddie's not coming. Eddie won't be here, but Joey's coming. Who's coming? Who's the dog? I, I know that, but who's, why is Joey coming without Eddie? Because I'm, I am the official babysitter. So no, you're gonna so I'm babysitting. No, the dog's coming here. Wait, I'm babysitting sharing. three dogs. Huh? Hang in there, Joey. Just about ten more minutes, okay? Joey, Joey, please don't eat the seatbelts, okay? I like dogs, but I'm afraid of dogs like Sam and Joey. <laughs> Hey, Sam. Sam and Joey even get along? I, I don't know yet. Hey, what are you doing up here, Joey? You want to try driving? Come here, Joey. such a doll to do that for me because it's just a nice day for Joey to be out. <laughs> it's like the first day of school every time you have a booking. Just based on the fact that you don't know any of these people and you don't really know what you're walking into. Whenever you go in and you have to meet people, there's a little bit of like apprehension. Okay, so this would be the glamorous model's dressing room. Close your eyes, everybody. I'm getting naked. Uh, look at Joey taking a dump. That means I gotta go pick up Joey. I'll get that one. Are you sure? Well, Max took a shit around here somewhere and I haven't picked that up, so I might as well get somebody. See, I don't mind picking it up when it's just fresh. But if it lays there for a while and it gets cold, it sends shivers up my spine. I can't say Joey anymore. I gotta say Joey, Joey. Is that how Eddie you doing? Says it? Do you guys think that Eddie <laughs> reminds sad. you of Joey from yes. Friends? Yes. And oh, that's yes. Why I keep thank you. Him Joey. All of you guys like too. Joey. He's Every once in a while, he acts like he's from like Brooklyn. He's like Joey, come here. Yeah. I'm like, where did that accent come from? Being from Joey. San Francisco. I really like the guy. Yeah. I mean, he's he's like, great, but he's so much fun to make fun of. I mean, it's just he's so easy to make fun of. so beautiful. You're so sexy. I've been doing this now for about two or three years. Work it. Work it. This is how I pay my bills. This is how I live. So, at this point, like, being naked in front of a big crowd is not really that big of a deal to me. Hola! Como estas? Yeah. and I go well together. Joey, your daddy's naked. Oh, Joey! We need water. Something's happening. Seriously, we need water right now. You're watching Dog Days. Joey, we're gonna go see your daddy. He's Sandra Bernhardt's bodyguard for the day. Coming through, girl with dogs. <gasps> He's in a tiny, tiny swimsuit. Joey, Joey, where's your daddy? Your daddy's here. Your daddy's here. Joey. <gasps> Joey. Joey. Where? Where? Where is he? Say it again. Say it again. Joey. He 
see Eddie. Eddie's up there in this little fabulous Speedo. Joey, who's that? Who's that? Is that Daddy? Joey, look at Eddie. Daddy. Come on, sister. Don't mess up the makeup. When she saw me getting all like rubbed up, I think she got jealous. Joey gets very territorial when it comes to her man. <laughs> I think Joey being in Bloomingdale's was overwhelming. There was so much going on. It was packed. We were in the cosmetics department. There was just a lot happening. Oh, Joey! She does this thing where she falls down on all fours and just kind of goes flat. Joey! And I didn't think anything of it because she does it all the time. Aww. And then I turned around as I'm pulling her and she starts peeing, which dogs have accidents, but then I start seeing this foam coming out of her mouth. Um, something's happening. We need, no, we need, we need, we need, we need water. Something's happening, seriously. We need water right now. Yes. It was so bad. I'm in the middle of Bloomingdale's with three dogs and I thought she was having a seizure. He's so unbelievable. Here. Thank you. Here, baby. He's okay. He's just dehydrated. Here. He's okay. He's okay. Here, put him in, no, in his mouth. Yeah, he needs more water. It's okay. Here. No, no, no. Here. Thank God people came and helped me. I mean, I was a big hot mess. He just got dehydrated, that's all. I Here. dropped both the other leashes, and Sam was like wandering around Bloomingdale. Sam! Hey, don't be wild, Sam. You need tissue? Here. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. No one wanted Eddie to know because they didn't want to upset him because he had to work. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Okay, all done for a day. He had to get final preparations of makeup and meet Sandra Bernhardt before they came out. <laughs> Sandra. Oh my God. She's intense, this woman. She's the type of girl, like growing up, if you tried to put soap in her mouth after saying a bad word, she'd take out and pop you with it. Are the dogs okay now? Yeah, they're so much better. Thank you so much. If I have a golden retriever, I would have died. Oh what my God. They just she just must have been so thirsty. Get that, get that, get that I'm going to. away so she, they don't eat it. Her dad is in the show, so I just want to wait. But yeah, so we, then we were back there, I gave them ice. You guys sit. Everyone sit. Sam, sit. Cherry, sit. Stay. Good girl. You scared me, you dumb dog. You scared me. I feel a little shaky. I'm a little nauseous. I just, I'm ready to get out of here. I want to see Eddie, and I want to go home. I don't want Joey to be somewhere. Okay. Okay. Accessory. Edward Cruz is like every beautiful lady's handbag or their like necklace or their bracelet or their little puppy, you know, and keep your mouth shut, Edward Cruz, because if you open it, you lose. And standing in front of a big crowd naked really isn't that artistic most of the time, but it does add a little bit of flavor to the situation. So I'm more than happy to be involved with that flavor. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You're so welcome. Hi. It's Cherry. Hi. Sam, come here. So I, I got I to gotta tell you something. Do you want it? Do you have a second, maybe? Or do you have to? Hi, guys. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye. 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 Bye.
she like passed out. Really? Yeah, peed on the floor and then like stuff was like coming out of her mouth a little bit. Thank God I didn't see it because I would have gone crazy. But she's doing okay now, right? Well, that's the thing is that I don't, I don't, I, I don't know if she is, and that's why I'm thinking we should get her to a vet. I just felt like I did something, you know. I mean, there's no way for me not to feel that way. So I was watching this dog, and it happened under my care. I need to finish up here, so um, I'm going to take care of this. So thank you so much. I'll see you later. Definitely. Okay. I really appreciate you. I really, really, really do. Very much. Hey. That's right. Cool. I'm going to take care of this. Thank okay. you very, very much. Okay. I appreciate you it. You look great. How do you feel? It looks like Joy's feeling better, but um, I think we're going to go to the bed. Dog. I'm gonna miss you. I know you fell madly in love with me this week. I know you did. You're watching Dog Days. Cherry's not a puppy anymore, so she's so much more relaxed. And like, I get her signs and her signals. Like, she, I know when she has to go to the bathroom. I know when she needs something. Like, it's really weird. Hey, can I give you a treat? You're a good boy. We spoil him so badly. Like, we'll take him from the living room to the bedroom because we think he doesn't want to walk. <laughs> but the thing is, no matter what you do for him, he's like, I don't know, I'm a dog. Like, he doesn't care. Uh, Jill's just a little guy. Ours oh, is the big one. Really? Oliver's actually been very helpful in meeting people. You know, we'll go to the dog run, and he's so cute, and so we'll, people will want to talk to him. And then there are single men at the dog run, so we'll want to talk to them. It's really, really special to me what I've established with my dog. Joey's there for me. She supports my well-being. <laughs> Stupid dog. I'm going to miss you. I'm gonna be lonely without you. I know you fell madly in love with me this week. I know you did. Let's go, girls. All in all, the experience actually was great. Oh, this is so much easier than the other way around, huh? For as long as Judy has had Sam, I've been petrified of her, so it's so good now that I can actually hang out at Judy's house and be relaxed. <laughs> Not have to get up and run every time Sam would come into the room. In fact, Sam made me want to have another dog, actually. Sam made me want a bigger dog to have for Cherry to play with. Who's that? Who's that dummy? She doesn't look very excited to see you. I think she... Cherry's more excited. She was great, except that, you know, she peed all over your couch. And did she pee in your house? Yeah, I made Chris this whole elaborate dinner. As soon as he walks in, Sam pees on the floor. And when did Chris uh, warm up to Sam? Like the next day, I caught him cradling her in his arms and looking at himself in the mirror. Was he flexing Ooh, his muscles? No, yeah, he was just like, kind of checking the whole thing out. I was like, what are you doing? Don't be disappointed when she's longing for me. All right, I will be. I'm telling you, man, I converted her. I'm now her new mama. All right, thanks, All right. man. I really appreciate it. No problem. I'll see you later. Come on, Sam. Come on, Cuckoo. Hey, honey. See, she doesn't want to. <laughs>